Hello, my name's Stephen Carr, and I'd like to welcome you back to another uh, SketchUp cooking class. This is the second part of our salt box house. In this section, I'd like to address adding doors and windows or components to our uh, groups. Again, there's a couple of rules that we'd like to follow. When we do this, if we use these rules, it will be quite easy and quite simple. So I'm going to turn off the uh, the roof layer, and I'm going to turn off the upper level two here so we're just looking at this one level to make it a little bit easier to see what we're doing so to start with if we are going to click on our windows and components we have a components library that comes in if you've been working with it you'll be seeing will be things in here if you uh, click into these different areas they sort of give you different things that you can follow now if you have just got the sketch up you're going to find that you're going to be working with components from the Google warehouse which is fine um, as I explained in class there are a few problems and it can be a little bit tedious trying to sort things out so uh, if you've downloaded the sketch up files for the components from BCIT or from the website in order to get them so that you can work with them we have a little detail arrow here uh, this is going to be different for everybody. It's going to be different at BCIT. It will be different at home, just as it is here. So you have to know where your Google SketchUp is. So in this case here, I'm just going to click on this detail arrow. Then I'm going to open uh, or create a local collection. And I know that I have to go to my C drive. Most people would be going to their C drive. Uh, program files 86 for me. Uh, now I'm going to be going down to Google, and this is my SketchUp 8 Google, and I click on my components, and I just if I click on architecture, this will open up um, appliances, cabinet stores, electronics, fireplace, furniture, interior, quite a few different things, windows. So if I click on this area here, now I can say OK. And these things are all here in my library. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to be looking at doors. I'm just going to go in here. And now I have a good selection of doors that I can work with. So this is kind of hopefully helpful. Uh, again, if you bring them in from the warehouse, then there's going to be other little problems that you're going to have to deal with, which we've discussed in class. So the first thing we want to do once we have our library available is we need to and we know that this is a group, so if we select, select it, right click, and we edit the group, now we are able to add doors and windows. If we don't edit the group, the doors and the windows will not be inserted properly. So uh, there's a couple of rules that I like to sort of follow here. And again, another rule is if it doesn't work, don't use it. Just look for something else. Um, I'm just going to grab this door here, drop it just on the surface. And you'll see that when I do that, if I just zoom in here, that this door actually has cut a hole in right into the wall. So if I click on the move, I'm going to try and move it down so that it just gets down to the face. If I try and move it so that it's flat on the face right away, it will flip over or do something else. Again, you can move these things around. If I grab on the midpoint here, I can try to take it to this construction line. So now we have a, our door located. So what I need to do here is um, I'll go out of the group again because I want to add a few more construction lines. Again, with the measuring tape tool, just click on an edge. And I'm just going to come and click on the top of the door. So this means when I put windows in, the windows should line up. I'd also like to have my windows two feet off the edge, so I'll just grab here and come across two feet. And I will do the same on the other side. Grab this edge, come across two feet, and there is the corner for my window, a corner for my window. So go back, going back to my components, again, if I'm going to put a component in this because it's a group, I need to right-click, edit the group. Now I can go 
into here and I can click into architecture. Now I can come down to my windows on the bottom. And again, I've got a great selection of windows here. It doesn't matter whether the window is the correct size because we're going to look at scaling windows. So once I have a collection, um, I'll just try this window here, see what it looks like. It's looking not too bad. Put it here. Again, it cuts a hole very nicely for me. I can just move it across here until it's close. That's all we really need to do is make it close. Sometimes it's better to move down first and then up. And then that works out really, really well. Now I could bring in another window or I can just do a move M for move and then control for copy. Okay, I'm just going to get this thing established first. Now click on it again. Now I can do a move and control for copy and I can just drag it across to the other side. So this has given me two nice doors and windows. Um, they, we need to put windows on all four sides. And also we need another door on the back. Windows on this side as well. So again, if I want to, I'm going to create a construction line so I can set up. My windows will all line up. looks good and if I go back into my components I can find another window that I like and of course I should be able to do a move copy copy again and I've got my window set up okay so I'll let you worry about the other windows that you need to work with I'm just again showing you the idea of what I want to do with this so now I need to look at my second floor so if I go into my layers and I'll turn my second level on and my roof as well it's important to have my roof on because I need to see when I'm setting this up where uh, my window sits because I don't want my window to go into my roof. Just turn my roof off again and let's just pull this construction line up here. And this should be approximately six foot eight. So that's where the top of the windows should be approximate. Not, not perfect, doesn't have to, it changes a little bit from place to place. So again, so now I'm working on my second uh, level. This is also a group, so I right click, edit group, and now I can go back to my windows here and I can try dragging one of these windows in here. And it seems to be doing good. It's quite nice. So just move it again. Again, sometimes to move it a little bit is very hard, but to move it lots is. Uh, you know, it can be a little bit more difficult. So I have a little bit of an option here. I'm looking at this. I'm not really totally happy with it. I think I need to make it a little bit bigger. So we do have a scale feature. So if I click on the scale feature, you'll notice we're getting grip points. I'm going to go into what we call the x-ray mode. The x-ray mode allows me to see inside this so that when I come in here, when I look at the... Uh, look at this, I can see that I have three grip points. So I have to be careful which grip points I pick. I need to pick my uh, diagonal center grips and now if I want to I can stretch it out and uh, it's bouncing around a little bit so it's not ha having a little bit of trouble because it's these other surfaces that are down below that are giving me problems. So I know that I have a roof line that I have to be careful with. So. I'm just going to pick somewhere about here and then we'll just uh, select outside and see what we've done. Turn the x-ray off and I think that that's worked out not too bad. So uh, I will 
again, edit my group, click in here, right click, edit group. I can select this, this roof and I can go move, copy, and I can run this across here until it gets approximately where I want to be. You notice that I'm not running in and checking to see that it's exactly there. If it looks good from here, it's good enough from where I am there. So this is basically what we need to do for adding windows and doors to our group. Again, the important thing is, is that we have to select this, right click, edit group, then we can select your window and place it in the in the group. And actually, if I want to, I can click in here and I can actually get all of the windows that I have in here. I can grab this guy and put him here. No, it's the wrong one. This guy here. This is the smaller window before I scaled it. And uh, again, if I need to make all this stuff line up, just come out here with my measuring tape, come across here. There's one, two, three. Can't do anything with this now because it's all part of a group. So right click, edit group, select this, move it, move copy, move copy one more time. And all my windows are sort of lining up. They look good. So there should be a little bit of balance to your house. So I'm just going to erase these guidelines here. Don't need them anymore. I want to keep my center one. I'll erase this one. Don't need that one. Or that one. Okay, so I'm not sure what the problem with this one is. Yeah, this one was made inside the group, so I have to go inside the group to get rid of it. Sometimes you forget and you do that. That's fine. So uh, this will end this section. I trust everybody is following my little rules and uh, we'll see you on the next session. Thank you.